Ace of Pentacles is here. This talks about like a new venture. So you could be starting a new venture. You could be starting a new business. Or um, God is getting ready to give you something. Ace of Pentacles. God wants to gift you. Seven of Wands is here. What is this seven of wands? The devil. So it's like God wants to gift you, but it's like the devil. Was, <laughs> you really suspect, as I say, what is this, this seven of wands? And then the devil is here. It popped clean out. Somebody that's in devil energy, somebody that's very toxic, was trying to block you off from um, something that God wanted to give you. They wanted to, to block you off from your abundance, your blessings, and things like that. Gifts that you, you know, have. And it doesn't have to be physical gifts. It could have been spiritual gifts. They wanted to try to block you off from that. So if, like, you were learning about spirituality, the devil didn't want you to get woke. So they will use different things to try to come at you, try to block you off. But you're divinely protected. So it's like whoever this toxic person is, or it could have been multiple people, it's two different people on this card. You were protected. Everything backfired. Your energy field is blocked off from whatever um, this toxicity, this devil energy is. Yeah. Yeah. The hair finest here. Yeah, God stepped in on this situation. You're someone that's protected. God stepped in and um, balanced this situation out. Yeah. And everything backfired. Yeah, this is a lot. I'll take it. Okay, we have King of Swords and then King of Pentacles. And then we got Seven of Swords as well. Three different cards popped out. So somebody was uh, literally trying to strategize. King of Swords, Seven of Swords. This could be somebody that's very bitter. This King of Swords could be someone that... Um, yeah, something backfired on the King of Swords. They were trying to strategize on how they can get some money is what I'm hearing. And um, they could have been trying to scam you or something like that. Or thought that they were going to take something from you, set you up or rob you or something like that. And it backfired onto this person. Now this person is in this King of Swords energy. Having to defend their self, feeling guarded. <clears throat> As you're at the Seven of Swords, the person possibly didn't know. As they were at the Seven of Swords with you, somebody else was at the Seven of Swords with them, trying to get them some, some money from this King of Pentacles. And this person could have been sitting in this King of Pentacles energy, and they were trying to strategize against you. Yeah, King of Swords, they were trying to take something from you or watch you, observe you. And um, somebody ended up setting them up behind the scenes, and now they're guarded. So it's like whatever they tried to do to you, whatever they thought that they were going to do, because you could just think something bad about a person in a negative way and it will come back on you. That's why people have to be mindful of what they place, um, try to place on people in a negative way by putting evil thoughts on people, thinking negative about people, putting their mouth on people in a negative way. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the mind is a terrible thing to waste. So it's like they wasted their thoughts on trying to manifest, uh, you know, a downfall for you or a blockage for you to set you back and somebody ended up setting them up and now they're at this king of swords guarded yeah nine of cups is here as you're sitting back at the nine of cups happy wish fulfillment yeah three of wands is here and then three of pentacles yeah, three of wands and three of pentacles. So it's like this person was waiting on something like them and the people behind the scenes could have been sitting them and whoever they were collaborating with three of pentacles 
they were sitting back waiting, trying to figure out um, if whatever plan that they were trying to, because this, this Seven of Swords is like a plan, like trying to strategize a setup or something like that, trying to be uh, strategic, one step ahead of you and thinking that they're smarter than you. And this person always get caught. Yeah, it backfired. That's all I keep hearing. Whatever they did to you, it went right back on them. Whatever they tried to do to you. Four of Swords is here. And then Ace of Swords. Yeah, isolation, four swords, land situations to rest. It's like once you found out the truth, God came in and gave you the truth about certain people, you isolated yourself. So it's like you could have knew the truth way before these people even thought to do whatever they were trying to do at the seven of swords. And you hadn't kept yourself isolated away from people. You were laying different situations to rest with people and you don't even be around people. You don't trust people that much. You were someone that was already in isolation, getting woke, getting enlightened. And you were gaining truth and clarity, Ace of Swords. Yeah. Three of Swords is here. Somebody is depressed. Somebody is going through heartache. Three of Swords and then the Star card is here. Somebody is heartbroken because you're healed. You're someone that's spiritually awake. And these are people that possibly did not know when you were in four swords isolation, you were getting enlightened, you were getting woke, you were rehabilitating yourself, cleansing yourself, recharging your energy. And you already knew the truth, Ace of Swords clarity. Yeah. Yeah. So people are depressed because you were, you're woke. They're depressed because they ended up going through judgment, karma. These are people that set distractions in their path. Knight of Pentacles is here. Thinking that they were going to set you up or do something to you in a sneaky, deceptive way. But you already knew the truth. Page of Pentacles is here. And then Tower. So it's like, yeah, these are people that are going through a tower moment and a lot of people are looking at them in a whole nother light. A lot of people could have gotten behind the scenes after they started getting, you know, hit with blockages and karma and distractions and got readings. And they were end up going through drastic, you know, tower moments and things like that. Yeah. The Fool card is here. And then Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody is unhappy too. It's like they're heartbroken. They're unhappy. They're stressed out, like, is what I'm hearing. They can't even, they don't even want to be around people. It's like if they gathered up different people to collaborate against you and they didn't tell them, um, they were at the Seven of Swords, so evidently they lied. Seven of Swords is someone that's very sneaky, deceptive, a liar, a cheater, a thief, different things like that. And yes, I just heard somebody, you know, my window is closed, but I just heard somebody scream, say, you know, say something. This person is someone that's very dramatic as well. And they, you know, they stage different stuff at the Seven of Swords and, and make people pay attention to that instead of paying attention to what's going on behind the scenes. Them, you know, setting up stuff. Somebody, they, they, they are at the Four of Cups feeling um, rejected, feeling insecure because you took a leap of faith towards a whole nother direction. Then people that you are around, it's like you're not even in the, you're not even, a lot of people aren't on the same level in life uh, that you are. You're on a whole nother level, a whole nother journey. I mean, a whole nother path. And um, you took a leap of faith towards the unknown, towards new ventures in life. And that's why God is getting ready to, to give you this Ace of Pentacles, if not already. But God wants to gift you. 
And this is your Ace of Pentacles. That's why the Seven of Wands is here. And a lot of people were blocked off from you. A lot of people were toxic. They walked in devil energy. And that's why you were at this Four of Swords in isolation and in solitude. You possibly didn't know why you didn't want to be around people or you just were tired of people. You cut different people off that were at the Seven of Swords and just started focusing on you. And um, it was because you ended up gaining the truth about people. You started seeing people for who they were and then you just weren't, you know, okay with it. And you isolated yourself, laid situations to rest. Whatever God has for you is for you. And that's why these people were blocked off from it. Now a lot of people are in regret because you're on a whole nother path. You're going toward a whole nother direction in life than what these people thought. Yeah, they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth to who you are. You're someone that's walking in your will of fortune, your destiny, your purpose. Your calling. And you're someone that has good luck and longevity as a lot of people are at the two of swords. Blinded from the truth. Not being able to see clearly about what's going on around them. Blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. They thought they had them blinded you but didn't know that you were woke. And they will be at this three of swords heart broke. Yeah, temperance is here. You're someone that's very grounded, very balanced, very stable. You've balanced out yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. You can balance out your masculine and feminine energy. Yeah, you're someone that's very peaceful. And someone that's protected. Knight of Wands and then Two of Cups. So this could be like a, um, you could be running into uh, someone that wants to work with you, partner up. They could be coming and make it seem like, hey, they want to work with you. They want to partner up with you. But this person is in a Knight of Wands energy. They're the Knight of Wands. They're doing stuff without thinking. They're someone, the Knight of Wands energy, they come in and out. So this person could be coming towards you. And their plan is to have sex with you and then leave. They want you to be blinded from the truth or something like that. Yeah, you completed a cycle with this person. A toxic cycle. That you didn't even know you were in. Five of Wands is here. This person is going through a lot of conflict. And um, drama and chaos. Yeah. You're in a whole nother cycle and this person is they're conflicted. Yeah, you're in this empress energy in a whole nother cycle. A lot of people are get, sitting back um trying to copy you as well, compete with you secretly. They want to be you. They see you in this empress energy. Someone that's manifesting, very abundant. Someone that's, you know, divine. Someone that's nurturing, a mother. And um, you're a boss. You could have multiple businesses or multiple things that you're doing, multiple goals that you have set. And um, you're building your own empire, the empress. It's like you have a lot going on. And it's like anything you put your mind to, boom, it's, it's there. It's out there. Things like that. <clears throat> and a lot of people are secretly in competition with the energy that you walk in. Yeah, nine of swords and four of wands. A lot of people stuck in their head, stressed out. It could be a lot of negative gossip and rumors and slander going on about you and your twin. Your twin could be going through a lot of uh, being stressed out. Or is this these people that's at the five of wands with you and the energy that you walk in? They're stressed out because um, this person could be coming towards you. They see you on a you know journey. They see you going towards a whole nother path, and they're trying to come towards you. Somebody, if this, this someone is stressed out, they can't sleep at night, and it could be your twin. They could be stressed out. They feel conflicted. They see you moving forward, and they can't even sleep. This this has them stressed out in their head. Yeah, nine of pentacles is here because you're someone that's very self-sufficient, abundant. You're single. 
and you're someone that knows your worth. So it's like, yeah. You went through a lot. You're someone that's very independent. This person could be stressed out because you're single. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, this person is stressed out because you're single. That don't make sense. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person is in love with you, Ace of Cups. And they're looking at you as someone that's single. It's like, you know, single, self-sufficient. Someone that's saving their self for a commitment or marriage. Things like that. Someone that's celibate. And this person is in love with you. And this is stressing them out. They could be stressed out because they've been keeping all of this in their head. The way they feel about you. And they know that you and them are twins. Yeah. The Musician is here, and then the Sun card is here. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest something. They look at you as someone that's also happy. You're content right now, and you're just manifesting. You have control of your own future, the path that you lead, the life that you lead. They see you attracting whatever it is you want out of life as you're in this empress energy. Yeah, that weighs them down. Ten of Wands is here. They're feeling pressured, burdened, and weighed down. And then Queen of Wands. They're, they're weighed down because you're attracting a lot of attention. A lot of people are attracted to you. Uh, you're someone that's very beautiful. You're someone that's um, attractive, talented, very ambitious. You're a leader. A lot of people look up to you. You're, you're someone that has a lot of confidence as well. And um, this is weighing this person down. Yeah, seven of cups in the reverse. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you're someone that's not confused. If spell work was like, try, if somebody tried to play spell work over you, they couldn't confuse you or your ancestors and they didn't know. Ten of Pentacles talks about ancestors, legacies, and heritage. Things like that. And it's like, they look at you as someone that's not confused. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You're someone that is sitting in your Ten of Pentacles creating generational wealth, building, prospering. Someone that's very blessed. Yeah. You're in this Empress energy. Building a legacy for generations ago. Yeah, Page of Wands is here. And then Ten of Cups. What is this Page of Wands and Ten of Cups? Queen of Pentacles. So it's like this person wants to communicate with you in some type of way. Queen of Pentacles, they see you as a Queen of Pentacles, someone that's very honest. Yeah, this Queen I have King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles out here. So it's like, yeah. This is a mother figure, someone that's a um wife, a mother figure, someone that's very honest, down to earth, stable, grounded, and very abundant, you know, financially stable. Business oriented. Eight of Wands in the reverse. So it's like this person, this this popped out quick. Like no, I mean that's what I heard when they popped out. This person could have tried to have somebody reach out to you and their family. Page of Wands and then Ten of Cups. It could have been a Queen of Pentacles, a mother figure, or a wife, or. Somebody that was close to them that they trusted. And they didn't reach out to you. Eight of Wands in the reverse. They didn't see the message. 
Yeah, but they kept this hidden. High Priestess is here. They didn't want you to know. They didn't want that person to know. Whatever they were trying to hide. This person is hiding something. King of Wands is here. As this almost popped out in the reverse, it's like they possibly didn't want you to be attracted to that person. Or they didn't want this person to be attracted to you. So, yeah, if this person depended on somebody else to communicate for them, they didn't. Yeah, the unknown card. These are people that you don't even know. And then Six of Pentacles is here. They didn't want this person to know that you were um, someone that was equal, would be equal with them or something like that. They don't want this person to know that you were someone that was, um, this six of pentacles talks about sharing, giving, um, being honest, sharing your wealth with people, equal with people. So the unknown and then six of pentacles, they didn't want this person to know or give you something. They didn't want this person to give you a gift or something, something like that. The chariot is here and then six of cups. Yeah, this person, this person, um, whoever this person is, they did, whoever this energy is, they didn't send a message. This person could be an earth sign as well, Capricorn, Torch, or Virgo. But, um, this is somebody that was supposed to send you a message that was close to this person and they trusted this person. And this is somebody that they cannot trust. High Priestess is here. They tried to keep it hidden. They didn't want this person to be attracted to you. They didn't want you to be attracted to this person. So they were behind the scenes like, um, you know, going back and forth between you and this person. So you wouldn't be um, attracted to them, giving them bad advice. And um, it's because they and they didn't want this person to know the unknown card is here. And it's like they wanted this person to move on. The chariot and six of cups in the past. From even being a, a attracted to you. You could have worked with this person. Yeah, you were friends with this person. Three of Cups is here. And then Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So you could have worked with this person. The Death card is here. And then Ace of Wands. Yeah. They wanted to put an end to um, you starting a new connection with this person. Or a new beginning with this person. So if this person gave this person some type of control over the way, the way that they contacted you or connected with you, they um somebody was being sneaky and deceptive and they thought this person was working with them behind the scenes. And this was somebody that, that they thought they could trust, a family member. Yeah, this person wanted them to be at a stalemate, not knowing which way to go. This person possibly thought they had control over this connection. But they didn't realize that they only had control over, you know, keeping their self at a standstill. So that person could realize who they really were. That's it. This person don't have control over you. Yeah, this person ended up getting caught up or stuck in some type of situation. Yeah. They wanted this person caught up in some type of situation. The hangman and strength is here. This what made this person want to grow. This what made this person um, have strength. Whatever they were caught up in. Yeah, they end up getting caught up because of this person. King of Cups is here. Yeah, this opened up this person's heart chakra. This person realized that they were in love with you. Yeah, they hold you in high honor. Six of Wands is here. They were around somebody that was um, not good. So if this was, okay, whoever this person is, it's like one person wanted to commit to you. They were around another energy that was trying to set you up. They were trying to strategize against you. Whoever this energy is was somebody that... Um, they wanted to make this person look bad. You could have knew this. You were already 10 steps ahead, as I said in the beginning, and they didn't know. 
they were trying to have you isolated and things like that. And they thought they were going to set you up and take something from you. And it backfired. So they ended up getting stuck some type of way. And um, your person ended up getting stuck as well as they were attached to this, this con artist. I don't know why I'm getting ready to say this setup artist, but yeah, a con artist. Then they had other people like in their family. They were trying to get them to send messages to you or communicate with you as they were wrapped up in the situation. This person could have went to jail. And they were they had somebody that was cold hearted, like a friend close to them that was setting them up and creating blockages for them. And stuff was backfiring because they were attached to them. Then they had family members that were disloyal. And um, <clears throat> trying to hide stuff from them. This person can't trust nobody. And this is somebody that, you know, they thought, this is somebody that is very honest. So, they thought if they, you know, the energy that they walk in, okay, they're honest with people. They wouldn't do this and that to people. It wouldn't come back on them. They will always be loyal to them, honest to them. These people hid it well. Even people that were family members and this close friend. Yeah, seven of pentacles is here. This person realized whatever they had invested in around these people, they didn't get nothing out of. Yeah, this is crazy. Nine of wands in the reverse. They were trying to keep this person in a never ending cycle. They did something over and over and over and over again. And they can no longer do that. And they also were sitting back spying on you. Page of Wands. I mean, Page of uh, Swords. They were just sitting back watching you, observing you, trying to figure out how can they set some stuff. You at least expect out saying people are to, to do something like that. But yeah, they could no longer uh, lie to this person. After after a while, this per the stuff that they were saying, this person started looking at them and questioning, you know, their loyalty, and they didn't know in the past. Yeah, not a once in the reverse. They couldn't keep this person in a never ending cycle. This person could have had somebody else <clears throat> watching them or something like that or observing. So it's like if somebody was sitting back lying on you, they could have had somebody else watching to see if it was true and um these people didn't know and that person was going back to uh your person and telling them whatever they said about you was not true it was like none of it added up none of it matched up yeah and they were at the five of cups in regret ashamed embarrassed for not believing something yeah, they were crying over spilled milk because they they got betrayed, ten of swords, by multiple people. Multiple people that were close. Wow. Yeah, they got betrayed and they're in regret at the five of cups. It's like these are people that you spoke the truth about, ace of swords, clarity. And um, they didn't believe you. So it's like... Once once stuff started going in place, stuff started happening, this person ended up getting betrayed, backstabbed by all of those people that you exposed or you spoke the truth about. Stuff that they didn't want to believe. Yeah. Page of Cups is here. This person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and apologize to you about something. Page of Cups. <clears throat> 